Before we start the video, I'd like to shout out Logger.com for sponsoring this video. They have an awesome site where you can buy a bunch of in-game currency and items, including all your favorite Rocket League items. Also, make sure you use code DOLBOBS to get an easy 6% off your orders. Check out the site, there's a link in the description. But for now, enjoy the video. Yo, what's going on guys, DOLBOBS here, and welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. Now, today in this video, I'm going to be showing you some items that made me a good amount of profit on Rocket League. So yeah, today I thought I'd get back into some trading videos. I want to start making more trading videos, and maybe we'll have an awesome trading series going on soon, because I've got some time that I can spend on trading in the next week or so, which will be a lot of fun. But as I've been making a lot of videos, I've not had the most time to trading, but there is one trading strategy that has worked for me so far and that is literally investing in items that will pretty much always go up in price and these are RLCS rewards. Now today I'm going to show you the RLCS rewards that have made me about 15,000 credits worth of profit with you know a decent investment but not that large of a credit investment and as I said 15,000 credits profit is insanely good especially since I just had to buy these items a long time ago and then pretty much sit and let them go up in price and just hold them so that they make more and more profit. Now, will this strategy work at the moment? I believe this strategy will also work with certain items at the moment. Buying RLCS painted fan rewards and waiting to see if maybe Epic Games decides to stop us from being allowed to receive this fan reward from the RLCS drops and bring in a new set and wipe out the old ones. Now, there is a bit of, you know, conspiracy going on that maybe Epic Games won't get rid of the old fan rewards and only add to them. But who knows? Maybe they can do that. Maybe they will eventually change them and really we just have to wait the long haul and see how much profit we can all make because at the end of the day it is just a game as well and you know we got to enjoy what we're doing here so anyway in this video i'll show you how i made some sweet profit by going over to my inventory you will see if i type rlcs these are you know the main bulk of items that we have here that have made me profit now we're going to be talking about this bad boy here the titanium white octane rlcs decal and this octane rlcs decal has made me so far about 9,000 credits worth of profit which is an insane amount for one item we also have the titanium white dominus rlcs decal which i can show you on my car and as you can see the dominus rlcs decal does look pretty fine as well and it's really helped a lot with the Dominus, you know, getting into the market and going up in price a lot recently. So the Titanium White Dominus RLCS has seen a good increase in price and it's made me about 4,900 credits worth of profit so far again. So these two white RLCS decals have done a really good job. We also have a Crimson Octane RLCS decal at the moment which I'm holding on to, um, hoping that that will go up in price. I, I got that actually from a drop a while ago, um, and it's 500 credits at the moment, but we could see this thing going up a few thousand credits for sure. Same with the black Dominus RLCS I have here. I also got that from a fan reward drop. So technically, I'd also be adding 3,000 credits profit on the black Dominus RLCS and another 600 credits on the Crimson Octane RLCS. But I'm not actually going to count those because I did get them for free from fan rewards. But when you think about it, it really does show that if you do get lucky with the fan rewards, then, you know, you can make a lot of free easy credits. So make sure you watch the fan reward streams. Now I'm going to show you guys the graph and really show you how I made made this kind of profit and why this strategy kind of works. So we're going to move over to a website called rl.insider.gg and here you can see a really awesome set of graphs which show prices of items based on different trading sites. So let's take a look at the Titanium White RLCS Octane decal first and as you can see it's actually already had a peak of 13,500 credits before in the past and then it dropped down and did this sort of W shape and it rose again. Now where do you think I bought it? Well, I think I bought at a perfect time because I bought in around early, sort of mid-early November here. And I actually bought this decal for 2,600 credits. Then, to my luck, it went up in price. And as you can see, it's gone up in the last few months. It's gone all the way up to 11,500 credits at its peak. Now, will this keep going up? Probably it might have a few little dips and it might go down and back up again. We could see that happening, but hopefully... It will be, you know, I'd make the most profit if Epic Games decide to reset fan rewards and take out the old ones. Now, I really do hope they do that because that's a system we always had before. So I really, really do hope that they do keep that up because it means these prices will go up a bunch. And I mean, surely it makes sense for the prices to go up for Epic Games. They will make more money because if, 
if prices are higher, people might go and buy credits. You never know. So yeah, I really hope that they do get discontinued at some point because if that happens, this white octane RLCS decal, we could see going well over 20,000 credits, but we are really just counting on that. But so far we've done well, um, but I'm eager to just hold on to it. Whether or not it goes up or down in price, I've had a lot of fun, you know, seeing this thing do well. So there we've made about 9,000 credits of profit in three months. Then the white Dominus RLCS decal, you know, this decal has done wonders with the white octane going up in price so much because a white decal with a white octane fits perfectly, am I right? Especially when it's a white decal that's quite rare. So luckily, when I was buying the white octane RLCS decal, this thing was on the market for super cheap, like literally 600 credits. Now imagine getting a white RLCS decal for 600 credits. That's awesome because, you know, I, I pretty much knew that was, that was nothing compared to the prices that we've seen in the past for RLCS white decals. So, you know, I, I bought in at 600 credits and now it's all the way up to 5,600 credits at the moment. Hopefully we'll see that go up even more to be, you know, with its counterpart at 11,000 credits. That is the, the white octane decal. So this decal alone has seen 5,000 credits increase in that time frame, which is an insane amount of profit as well. We also have a few boosts that I want to talk about that I did invest in that I think have still not hit their potential yet, but they could definitely do that. So if I customize car and head over to a boost and we go down to the Helios boost. Now, as you can see, I have a regular Helios boost here, which uh, I just got from a drop. But these two, the Crimson and a Lime, I got my hands on. And as you can see, these things have changed in price a little bit looking at the graphs. But they have definitely got potential to go up even more. So if I take a look again at the RL.Insider graph, you can see the Crimson Helios in the last three months has gone from a price of around 600 and 400, actually around 400 all the way up to 1,900. But like I said, it's been 5,000 credits before. Whether it can go back there again, we'll have to see. Um, but yeah, I'm going to hold it and see if it does. We also do have ourselves a Lime Helios, which is still an investment that should hopefully go up in price a good amount if Mr. Beast gets off our screen there. So right now it's sitting at 400 credits. So if you want to actually go and buy some of these Helios boosts, it might be a good idea. Who knows? We'll have to see. But realistically, guys, I want you to know that there is still risk in these strategies. Something, anything could come out in Rocket League. Any sort of update could just completely change the prices of these items and make them drop drastically. So I do want to say, if you're going to start spending money on this game, do it sensibly and only spend money that you're willing to lose because it could all go down in one day. You know, it, it's the way it works. It is pretty much gambling your money. So, you know, if it's if you're spending credits that you've earned from without spending money, then go for it. See, you know, do what you want. But I thought this video was an insight of what I've been up to. And hopefully it inspires you guys to try out some different methods that you might not have thought of before. And yeah, I think these kind of videos are quite fun for you guys to watch. Just being able to actually see items like this in people's inventory, I know is definitely enjoyable for you guys. I know I used to watch loads of videos of people who have expensive items just because it looks cool seeing them in the inventory. And as you can see, they also make for some pretty nice car designs as well. So all we have to do now, guys, is hope that they go up in price even more and maybe you can start investing in them as well. But that's it for the video, guys. Let me know if you enjoyed my little showcase of what's been going on. And like I said, I'll be happy to get into some trading very, very soon on the channel. So please drop a like if you enjoy trading videos and comment down below so that I know you guys are going to be along for the ride. But that's it for this video, guys. Good luck trading. Goodbye.